In an industry that finds itself constantly evolving, both owners and enthusiasts are trying to strike a balance between what's next and what's perfect just the way it is. Few boats land in that perfect space between modern and timeless. This 2014 48 Sabre is unmistakably one of those rarities. Her flag blue exterior screams all things desirable about classic vessel design while not sacrificing any of the benefits of yachting's future. Anyone with a keen eye for these types of details will quickly see that Wombat is the total package. We're going to start our walkthrough today on the stern. Stepping on board back here from the dock leaves a great first impression. All of the way aft is her fixed swim platform equipped with mooring cleats. Passing through the port side transom door, we step up into the raised cockpit. Back here we have L-shaped seating and secondary bench seating that faces aft. Altogether, this seating can accommodate six adults. In the center of the cockpit is this folding, high-gloss table. Just take out the two bolts at the base and the table can be removed, making this a very versatile space. Underfoot in the cockpit is the engine room hatch. Here's where we find her two Cummins QSC 8.3 diesel engines. Sabre was an early adopter of the pod drive system, and this makes itself evident in her efficiency and maneuverability. She has a cruising speed of 29 knots and a top speed of 34 knots. At speed or cruising, Wombat is the culmination of style and world-class engineering. Forward in the cockpit, on the starboard side, are bifolding glass doors which give us access to the salon. Her interior walls are appointed with an unblemished cherry and underfoot, we find a teak and holly flooring that make this space as warm as any you'll find. The salon seating can be broken down into three different sections. The larger L-shaped seating is all the way aft and boasts a high-low pedestal table. The second seating area can be found on the port side, just inside the main entrance. With the touch of a button, this settee glides towards the starboard table. When fully extended, a stairway is revealed which provides access to the cruise quarter. What I love about this hidden stairwell is that it helps utilize every single inch of her 48-foot hull, another byproduct of intensive engineering. In the crew area is a workstation as well as a laundry center, crew head, and a full-size berth. Jumping back up, we come to the final seating area featured in the salon. This raised settee is the perfect place for a co-pilot or loved one to spend time with the captain. Also found here is a retractable flat screen TV. Above the seating to both port and starboard are these windows that slide open and welcome in a cross breeze. This brings us to our final stop in the salon, the helm station. This modern helm station is where the predominantly classic elements are put on pause. Starting from left to right, we have two SmartCraft Vessel View 7 displays, Fusion Stereo, and her two Garmin GPS and Chart Plotter displays. In between these are two multifunction displays. Just below is your searchlight control, as well as the control for your FLIR night vision system. All the way on the port side are the engine throttles and the coveted pod joystick that makes docking as simple as it gets. Behind the wheel is a leather stid helm seat. On the right side of the seat is a secondary autopilot controller. Beyond this helm seat is a watertight door which provides easy access to the foredeck. Directly behind the helm seat is a stainless ice maker and dedicated bottle storage. Overhead in the salon is an electrically actuated sunroof. When in the open position, the salon takes on a whole new volume of light and ocean air. There's no better way to look up and experience a starry night than out on the water, away from the city lights. We start the second part of today's walkthrough as we pass the main breaker panel and step down into the galley. We first come to an isotherm over-under refrigerator. 
Above that is a Cuisinart microwave convection oven. Beyond this is a stainless steel sink basin and a two burner electric cooktop. Storage can be found both above and below. Opposite the galley on the starboard side is the master stateroom, which boasts a queen sized island berth. As you can see, there is plenty of storage on the right side of the bed between this hanging locker and the drawers. Tucked in the corner is a flat screen TV. Forward of the berth is more storage that leads into the ensuite. In here is a vessel sink and a glass shower stall. From here, we continue forward to the guest stateroom. Center lined is a Marine Queen berth with hanging lockers at the foot of the bed to both port and starboard. Also at the foot of the bed is a flat screen TV, an overhead, and escape hatch. Opposite the TV on the port side is the ensuite. Jumping directly overhead is where we end today's walkthrough, the foredeck. Running the length of the side decks and continuing up to the bow is a tan-colored non-skid surface. This serves to keep the deck cool and slip resistant. This spacious bow acts as a great space for dockside cocktails or laying out. The bow rail also helps make this a safe place for spending time when underway on those sunny days. All the way forward on the bow is her anchor and ground tackle. From here, if we face aft, we can see the stainless ladder that gives us access to the radar, FLIR night vision camera, and the mast. There are several things that make Wombat stand out from nearly every boat in the water, and they aren't just limited to her timeless design. The convenience and efficiency of the pod drives, the inventive use of interior space, and the melding of both classic and modern are just part of what make her so attention worthy. On behalf of the Denison team, thank you for joining us on this walkthrough of Wombat, the 48 Sabre. We think she is truly something special. For a full spec sheet, real-time pricing, or to schedule a walkthrough, please reach out to Alex Clark at any time.